April 16, 2012, marked one of the most gruesome homicides in the Bronx. It would shake the community to its core, leaving a permanent stain that continues to fuel gang rivalry today. Moises Laura, known to the gang underworld as Noah Bala, lost his life. Moments before he was stomped to death, he was hanging out with friends unsuspecting of what was waiting for him that day. Noah Bala was often described as a good kid that loved basketball by many who saw him grow up from a baby until the time his life was taken. However, the image painted by the law told a different tale. To officers, they categorized him as a gang member that was frequently in the legal system. His rap sheet was reported to have five arrests. In fact, Noah Bala's tragic end was listed as collateral for his affiliation with the gang culture as a member of the OGs, AKA Original Goons. Those that ultimately stole his life were members of the YGs, AKA Young Gunners, whose origins are dated as far back as 2010. The long-standing feud between the two goes in depth with betrayal, ruthlessness, and distrust. But what's more, that hunger for revenge grew through the years. To those that claim the life of this young man on April 16th, 2012. That evening, Moises Laura, aka Noah Baller, was at his residence at the Melrose Houses Projects. As the sun set on the region and nightfall came in, the danger of the gang atmosphere were brewing. Noah Baller was hanging out with friends outside of his home, while in another area of the Bronx, his gang rivals were on the verge of doing something heinous to him. A group of YG members were out having a good time, downing alcohol. Already with intentions of harming their rivals, the OGs, being intoxicated only aimed to elevate the craving for bloodshed. That's exactly where their actions were led. Their celebrations carried on to approximately 8 p.m. before an argument between the group broke out on the topic of stripes earned by each member of the gang. As foolish as it may sound to regular civilians, the conversation of who put in the most work for the YG's gang was one of conviction and meaning to those lost in the mentality of that lifestyle. The group of YG's, in an attempt to put all arguments to rest, decided that they would commit an act of cruelty to prove they were dedicated to the misguided cause of their gang. This led them on a mission to their rival's territory, the OG's, to seek out a target or targets to prey upon. It just so happened that target would unfortunately be Moises Laura, AKA Noah Baller, at his Melrose House's home in Courtland Ave. A friend of his by the name of Jennifer Gonzalez, 21, told authorities she had stopped to chat with Noah shortly before his life came to an end. The last thing she said to him as she left was, okay, bro, I'll see you later. Be careful. At the time, Noah Baller was reportedly outside with two girls and a young man when at approximately 8.50 p.m., the YGs came across Noah. And while he tried to escape, it was too late. A group of up to 20 YG gang members swarmed upon Noah, knocking him to the ground and mercilessly attacking him, stomping him unconscious. This left a small-bodied young man with a fractured skull in several places and bleeding profusely on the floor. The assailants made their escape and went on to brag about the gruesome deed to the other YG affiliates. Jennifer Gonzalez recalls getting a call from her mother that a riot was going on at Melrose Houses. Little did she know it wasn't a riot, but a group of gang members beating her friend to death. When she arrived at the scene, what met her was the image of her friend, Noah, laying motionless on the floor. Noah was only 90 pounds, according to Jennifer. He had pins in his leg from past bone breaks. Yet, such a large group found pleasure in beating him so badly that he succumbed to his wounds. What's worse, they claimed it as a victory. Noah would be rushed to the Lincoln Hospital, where he was pronounced deceased. Autopsy documents listed his official cause of death as being due to blunt impact injury to the head and neck. 
Noah Bala's life tragically came to an end in a manner that no one should ever have to endure, much less a young man who has not lived to see half of what life has to offer. His blood marked the floor of the streets just a short way from the playground and would spark a wave of mixed emotions from loved ones, strangers, and rivals. Those dared to him who lived a lifestyle guided by hood politics paid their dues, releasing music in honor of his name and legacy. Stax Blanco would release the heartfelt music video for his song, Letter to Noah, where he expresses his hurt to have lost someone he considered a brother. Damn. Rest in peace, my bro Noah had to get a tatted Every day, same shit, but it's different now. It's cause you gone and the goons ain't in the town. At the beginning of that same video, gritty footage of Noah shows him rapping, dropping the OG's title a couple of times, giving credibility to the authorities being right about his homicide being connected to the gang war between the YGs and OGs. On the other hand, Noah's name became a point of disrespect to mock the OGs to whom he was allegedly a member of. In his song titled Warzone, Yush G's raps the lyrics drawing reference to his gang taking the life of Noah. Noah got stomped like Smelly got poked. One of the most popular faces of the YG set known as D-Thang, was also vocal about his happiness that one of their rivals' life was snuffed. In his song titled Tactical and Wedgie Man, he takes jabs at the murdered Noah, going as far as saying he would dig him up to stomp on him again. As already distasteful as that may sound, D-Thang took it a step further, even posting the bloodied white Air Force shoes of Noah with laughing emojis after they stripped him of his life. It really showed the nature of the gang culture. These youths have talent, just poured it in the wrong direction. They had the dedication to manipulate a video of Noah Bala to make it seem like he was vibing along to D-Thang's song in order to have more laughs at his passing, but wouldn't put that same focus into probably furthering their knowledge of graphics to have a legal career in animation. The environment breeds a cycle of young, talented individuals with potential losing their life before they can even amount to anything other than gangsters. Thankfully, there are friends and family that are keeping Noah's name alive by paying homage and appreciating knowing him. Law enforcement would grow tired of hearing the senseless murders and begin investigating eventually indicting members of the YGs for crimes ranging from narcotics trafficking, firearm offenses, and murder. On July 20th and August 3rd, 2017, the Department of Justice U.S. Attorney's Office of the Southern District of New York released statements of the conviction and sentencing of YG members, especially two main figures that were involved in a homicide at Moises Laura, a.k.a. Noah Bala, William Bracey, a.k.a. Rel received a sentence of 33 years, and Wendell Bell, a.k.a. Deli Dell, received a sentence of 41 years. A third key member, Anthony Riddick, a.k.a. Ant Flocka, also pled guilty in a Manhattan federal court to his involvement in the Young Gunners, a.k.a. YG's gang, by participating in the ruthless beating of Moises Laura, a.k.a. Noah Bala. Unfortunately, even with these convictions, the gang war between the two factions continue to plague the streaks of the Bronx. The most we can do is hope one day that's no longer the case. May Noah Bala and all the youths like him that lost their lives rest in peace.